The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, The kingdom of heaven is like a treasure buried in a field, which a person finds and hides again, and out of joy goes and sells all that he has and buys that field. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant searching for fine pearls. When he finds a pearl of great price, he goes and sells all that he has and buys it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. What would you give anything to have? In the gospel, we hear about Jesus talks about the kingdom of heaven, and he describes it as this treasure buried in the field or this pearl of great price. And we see the people in the story, they find the treasure or the pearl And they go out, the one guy, out of joy, goes and sells all that he has for that treasure. Our great pearl. What is it, the kingdom of heaven? We talk about it all the time, but we really talk about what is this gospel joy? What is this joy of the gospel that somebody would give anything to have? I want to just talk about today, talk about some of those things. I know maybe you've heard this or heard us talk about the kingdom of heaven, but I think it's a good idea to go over that again what that joy is. First, the treasure buried in the field is love. Real love. We are thirsting for a relationship that we are mutual, that are mutual, that we can be vulnerable. We know we are valued that we can be open and honest to be able to share ourselves. I was reading uh, about relationships uh, on the internet and there was these four phases of marriage, but I think it's true for all relationships. So the first, the first uh, phase is Romance, or if it's friendship, it's somebody you like, you know. The second phase is disillusionment. Oh, it gets worse. (laughs) The third phase is misery. And then the fourth phase is awakening. Now, I laughed. I was, I was looking at that, and I had to look at it again. I'm like, wow. I was kind of laughing, but it's like, that is so true. That is so true. Especially looking at that part about misery. That is definitely, definitely a part of relationship. Mutual misery. And what we thirst for is that awakening in our relationship to get to that point finally where we finally accept each other as ourselves in that relationship, where we stop trying to make somebody into something that they're not and the misery of that. That costs everything, doesn't it? takes everything that we've got 
to find that. But it's so worth it. It's priceless. Another treasure buried in the field, our pearl of great price, is the kingdom brings fulfillment. We kind of start off our lives, we're all about our ego and how we can fill that ego. And most of us start off with, well, riches. That's how I'll fill the ego, our power. And eventually we get to the point where we begin, to, is this all there is? We begin to ask that question. What is the meaning of life? Hopefully in our life, we ask that question. And at that point, kind of usually two things happen. First thing is we double down. Well, we're not happy, so we better get more riches and more power. Keep chasing that. Or the second thing happens where we, re we think that life, we come to the conclusion that life is meaningless. And we are resigned to live a depressed and meaningless life. But hopefully, there's a third way <laughs> that I didn't mention. And that's when we discover that it's not about me, that life isn't about me, and that really the joy of life is about is about the gift the gift that we are being given that all of all things we find fulfillment in that in our life we find that we are not the whole but we're part of the whole that we are part of something greater and we can there is a place for us and to be able to find that it costs everything, doesn't it? Have to be willing to let go of our old way, our ego that says this is what it is. And to embrace this new way of giving our lives and sharing our lives. It's priceless. The last thing I want to say is the kingdom of heaven, the treasure buried in the field is eternal life. We think eternal life and we think about forever, but we don't realize that eternal life is a quality of life. It's just not forever, it's a quality of life of experiencing fulfillment, experiencing love, experiencing peace, all of those things in our life. And the thing is, I try to describe it, but, but it's beyond words. The, the greatest things in our life cannot be explained. They can only be experienced. All we can say about those greatest things in life that we experience, that we try to explain is awesome, awesome, awesome. Finding that eternal life, that quality of life, is worth everything, isn't it? Jesus tells us up front, he tells us that it costs everything. 
And he mentions in other parts, including persecution and tribulation. But, but the kingdom of heaven far outweighs the cost. It far outweighs it. And notice how I talk about these things, the kingdom of heaven, that I'm talking about things that are now in our life that we can experience now as opposed to always thinking that it's about later. Simple things. Not now, not later either. If now, then later. The challenge for us to open ourselves up, to be willing to, to give ourselves completely that the kingdom of heaven is love, fulfillment, and eternal life.